all right so yeah something happened you see uh yeah yeah i'm on the way to the dam and damn okay let me just show you guys Basically, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing travel vlogging. So I've decided I've come up with this um, theory that Zimbabwe is not well documented. And I personally want to like see Zimbabwe, explore Zimbabwe with you guys and show you what it's like, show you the different places, you know. Um, it's not going to be a cliche travel video. I mean, a tra not travel video, sorry. Uh, pardon me. It's not going to be a cliche. A cliche. not gonna be a cliche travel channel English one <laughs> tragic okay anyway so here this is, how, this is what we're gonna do basically what's gonna happen is we are going to be going to places revealing the places seeing they seeing how they do seeing the activity that are there and rate them according to three categories all right how's it guys we're back um yeah so today we're on the way to hillside dam you know uh it's close to where I stay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a nice experience. So um yeah here in blues, you know, starting off my rate battles, starting off this series on pretty much what is what is what I feel is traveling vlogging, travel vlogging. H damn bruh. Anyway, so we're starting off the series and we're starting it off at Hillside Dam. It's gonna be exciting, it's gonna be great. You know, I'm right here at the shopping mall. Um, yeah. So, you know, you just gotta get a few supplies, you know, gotta get food. I mean, I can't I can't go to the dam and just chill and do nothing. And I'm, I'm still broke, but like, being broke doesn't mean I can't get food. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so we're here. And, okay, let me just show you guys. So, this is where we're at. Look at that nice car next to me, man. It's a Benz. I like this car. This is this is a really nice car. Anyways, we're here and pretty much that's it. Did the shopping mall, and that's what we're doing today. And hopefully, y'all gonna have a good time. We're gonna explore. We're gonna see what it's like at Hillside uh, Hillside Dam. Probably just gonna be like an hour or so there. It's gonna be chilled. Yeah, looking forward to what it looks like, first reactions, everything, you know. Let me just put that back there. First reactions, everything. Looking forward to what it looks like, looking forward to seeing it. Hope you guys enjoy it. And let's go. Three hours later. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm on the way to the dam, and damn. Okay, let me just show you guys. Okay, here we go. No cars, no nothing. Okay, let me just show you. So, I'm on my way to the dam. Right. I'm on this busy road. Okay, it's not so busy, but like it's, it's kind of busy. Anyway, so I'm on the busy road driving on the way to the dam and all of a sudden Yeah, so like my number plates like came off, right? So 
so and I kind of had to like tape it back together. Let me just show you guys. So you see like I taped the number plate back together. So yeah, so like I just taped it back together because it came off and like I didn't know what else to do. So I was like, let me just use some tapes. I found some tape in the car, put it back on the number plate and like now we're on the way. Now we're back. Yeah. Slight hiccup, you know, nothing nothing really big, but we're going. I mean the, the clouds are a bit dark. But here we go, here we do it. I back in the car, sorry for the for the noise outside, you know. It gets really really noisy outside, so anyways, here we go. We're back. We're ready to roll. Let's do it. Okay, we're at Hillside Dam, uh, right, so the dam's behind me, there's the entertainment all around, I'm gonna show you guys around, I'm gonna show you how it is, let's go, let's do it, let's see what there is to do, and at the end of this, I'm just gonna give my first reviews, what I think about the place, how I like it, the type of entertainment there is, what there is to do, and you know, oh yeah, by the way, it's $2 to enter, so, per person, so like, I mean, it's pretty cheap, no, it's a bit, a bit, a, a bit of a distance from town, like five, five minutes away. You know, if you're living in the suburbs, about three minutes away. So, I mean, there we go. That's, that's about the pricing. That's about how much you're gonna be paying. And, you know what? Less talking, more showing. You know, let me show you guys what it looks like. And, right, welcome to Hillside Dam. First episode of Exploring Zim. Do it. All right, so I'm on my way to the zip line, you know. Um I don't know if I'm going the right way or if I'm not, but like, anyway, like, one thing I don't really like about this place is that there are no signs. So basically what that means is that you can virtually get lost. Like, really lost. Like, when I say you can get lost, I mean you can get lost. Anyways, I don't know if this is the way, like, so there are two paths. There's this one. I don't know where that lead one. And then there's this one. I don't know where that leads to. And that's my predicament. Let's go, let's go nature walking, you know? Don't know what we might find, don't know what we might not find, and... Oh shoot, I don't know what that is. Sounds like a, sounds like a freaking snake. Oh my crap, I think I saw a tarantula. I actually thought I'd seen a tarantula, so like... I was lucky having a freak out moment, so like I thought I'd seen a tarantula, and like... Disclaimer, I really really hate um i really really hate like crawly thingy so anyways so that's that's cool but anyways you know what it's all right let's go and see what it's like
I found the zip line. Yeah. Um, so you see, like, you're gonna see it anyway. <laughs> okay, anyway, so basically, they didn't allow me to go on the zip line. I managed to get some footage of a girl going down there. And you're gonna see her. She was really petrified, you know. It's not a. It's not a short zip line, but it's not long either. But like you know, it's really nice. So that's pretty cool. So she's really pet she's really petrified of like going on it anyway. And now I'm gonna show you the dam, the rest of the place, and yeah, pretty much this canoeing and all that stuff. And hopefully I'm gonna get a deal with the guy, and he's gonna be kind enough to let me go canoeing, show you what is around the dam, and we're gonna review this later. So tell me what you think so far, and. Let's get to the rest of this video. Enjoy the, the first video. Um, we just visited today, you know, since the beginning of this new series, we visited the Hillside Dam. Um, pretty much it was, eh, it was, it was good. Okay, I'm not gonna downplay or anything. It was a pretty nice place, you know. You saw for yourselves the, the videos and everything. You saw the zipline, the trampoline, you know, the, the water itself. And you know, this canoeing. Okay, so let me just explain the activity that is there at Hillside Dam. So, pretty, so basically, there's zipline, there's canoeing, there is tra there trampolines. You can have a bride there. It's a nice chill spot and everything. So, what did I like about Hillside Dam? What I liked about the place? The place is nice and open, it's nice and airy. There's not a lot of people. If you go on a Sunday, maybe, or maybe if you go on... Okay, during the week, there are not a lot of people. Um, pretty much that's what I like about it. And you can see it's a nice open area. The night, the lots of trees, lots of grasses, a lot of places to explore. The dam is big. Everything is just in the in the right place. And you know, it's, it's a nice place to be in the family, just chill. Take a weekend out, take a day out to just chill with the family, with a few friends. And you know, one thing that I found also is there's a big rock collection you know that is very nice that side as well i think that for accessibility we're gonna rate it a nice seven out of ten and we're gonna rate everything out of ten so for accessibility seven out of ten why does it seven out of ten it is about a five minute drive from the suburbs if you're going to town it's about ten maybe ten minutes around there i'm not i'm just gauging from where i was coming from I live pretty near so it's about five minutes so i mean it's not that big a strain on fuel and you know it's easily accessible to anyone that lives in the surrounding areas of Malawi. and secondly for aesthetics aesthetics i rated about a five mainly because it's mostly just woodland and everything and i wouldn't say there's anything like punch you know like a home run hit that i can say is there that can maybe make it a great 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 place in terms of aesthetics the thing that make it the bash factor, uh, my personal favorite, like I said, um, so, these are the things, how cool it is, how nice of a place it is, and everything. Basically, is it a chill spot, is it a cool, is it a nice place to stay and everything, and like I said, I will give it a 5 out of 10. So, totally, that would probably, that would give it a grand total, I think, if I'm not mistaken, of 17 out of 30. So, that's the grand total that I've given it. And hence, starting off 17 out of 30, Hillside Dams, you're good. I would go back there if I'm going with a, good, with a group of friends and everything and it's chilled. I love it, you know. And basically, I hope you guys like this and I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my reviews, my comments, my reactions. I like the place, you know. I'm not going to go too much into more detail than that. And it was a great place. If you want to go visit, just check it out by yourselves and... You're gonna enjoy it yourself, especially if you're a group of friends. Don't go by yourself, it's not that great. You know, unless you're like me and you're really social, but it's not that great if you go by yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, you, you know what to do every, at the end of every video, you know. Just leave a like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, 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 guys. You know, it's, it's gonna get me far. If you wanna get more great content like this, if you want more travel videos, more videos of places in Zimbabwe and if you want to experience Zimbabwe through the eyes of a common person through me in Cube just chat, just subscribe to my channel you know and we'll travel together we'll go around any places you want me to go just hit me up in the comments hope you guys enjoyed hope you liked thanks give it a share give it a thumbs up and
you know what to do. Peace out, brothers. Peace out, sisters. Next time.